What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got one story, two questions, and the today's story is really, really important. Now, a lot of you have pre-ordered the Galaxy S23 phones, and you're about, or you have sent out your trade-in. I haven't sent mine yet, I'm actually gonna do it today. Uh, I've just been kinda busy and lazy about it, to be honest with you. And I've heard independently from two people, uh, one via Instagram, one via Twitter, and I wasn't even fishing for this information, DM'd me directly, hey Greg, I sent in my trade-in for the S23, my, it was in perfect condition, nothing was wrong with it. I sent it off to Samsung and guess what? Samsung came back to me and said the phone was cracked. Now, I wanna talk about this because this is a common occurrence when there's a lot of trade-ins that Samsung gets. I hear this a lot, I hear it, I see it on Reddit. I've covered it in past stories where I've actually put together a full video of exactly how when you pack your thing up, pack your phone up, take videos of the whole process if you're concerned with this. Take a video of you putting it in the box and showing it on and turned on, before you even turn it on. Turn it on, show it on, then show that it's erased, then turn it off and don't turn the camera off at all. And then pack it up and show you, you know, you know, uh, taping it off and everything. Put the, put the, um, the packing slip on there and everything. Drop it off, video record all of that. And then when you send it off, Samsung comes back to you and says, hey, it's broken or we never received it. Well, well one, you have the tracking. You can show that it was delivered. Uh, two, you have a video showing that it was in perfect condition when you sent it and hopefully they'll reverse it. This is seriously a, a, seri a bad common occurrence that happens. If two people are reaching out to me, you gotta think there's hundreds, or maybe thousands of people that is, maybe not thousands. There's a lot of people this is happening to. Just, there's more than two people in the world that this has happened to and they both message me. That's kind of, that would be like winning the lottery, honestly. So what they did, I know at least one of these people did it. They went back to Samsung and said, hey, my phone's not broken. They called Samsung. Samsung reversed it and took it for the full charge. The other person didn't say that and they got Instead of 500 bucks, I think they got like 350 bucks for their trade and so they didn't get the full amount even though they knew their phone wasn't broken. So when this happens, if it happens, hope it doesn't happen, make sure you immediately call Samsung. Hopefully you have a video of the whole thing in case they say, well, we have it and it's broken. You can send them a video and be like, no, it's not. At the very least, call Samsung and fight that. Make sure you fight it. Call their customer service and say, I know for a fact when I sent it, it wasn't cracked. I have video of it, I have pictures of it. And fight that, don't let them get away with this. My iPhone's <laughs> talking to me. Um, so make sure you do that because you don't want this to happen to you. And if it's not really, I don't even know if it's Samsung's fault so much. It's really the company I think they hire. It's like, I believe it's a third party company that they're hiring. And it's that third party company that's causing the issue, saying it's broken, even though it's not broken, saying it's defective when it's not defective. This is not common. This is, I mean, this is a common thing that happens guys. So be very careful. Take the precautionary steps to make sure this does not happen to you. Your question of the day is, has this happened to you ever? And then has it happened to you on this S23 trade-in right now? Let us let the people know in the comments down below. Let them know what you personally did in order to get this rectified. And if it has happened to you, call Samsung right now, uh, especially if it's the new phone. The old phones are not gonna do it, but if it's the newer trade-in that just happened right now, call them and say, especially if your phone wasn't broken, my phone's not broken. So make sure you fight that. Without further ado, let's jump in our Q&A. First question from Jerome Gold. Do you think that they could make two punch hole cameras like the punch hole on the S23 Ultra, one next to each other, that would make the screen a lot bigger and easier for a screen protector and case? I'm assuming you're talking about the new Galaxy Z Flip 5 and potentially what it's going to look like. They could, but the quality of the camera would not be as good. You wouldn't get as much light. It would be worse when it's darker. There'd be reasons you wouldn't want to do that, especially if it was the back camera. So I'd say don't do that, Samsung. And our last question comes from 
Mr. D's product review channel. You mentioned that 256 gigabyte being enough storage for most people and some wanting to go all out and get the one terabyte. In your opinion, how long do you think that it might take before anyone comes out with a 1.5 terabyte storage option? And do you think that there will be enough people wanting to go all out for 1.25, 1.5 terabyte option to justify anything into the marketplace? I don't think, I don't think it, anyone will come out with 1.5 terabytes. I think it'd be two terabytes would be the next huge device that comes out in in terms of storage when will that be prevalent i think it'll that will become more prevalent when 8 uh, k video is is a lot more popular and more widely available on more phones and used more widely wild, uh, widely when people are recording video because that uses up a lot of storage versus even 4k 4k uses a lot and then 1080p doesn't uses just just as much so I would say when 8K is a lot more popular in terms of video, like more people have 8K TVs, more people record 8K video and all of that. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the hashtag question. We'll see you down the road. Peace.